I'd be the first to admit I'm having a fun time using the new HP Spectre Folio. In a world of copycat laptops, almost all of whom seem to want to be the MacBook Air, this is at the very least a different approach to laptop design. Instead of taking a slim laptop and sticking it in a leather sleeve, as one might do with any other similar system, instead the leather case is built right in. It's a magnesium frame with a leather outer shell that covers just about everything except for the keyboard and screen. It's called the Folio because when closed it looks like a leather folio. So much so that when I took it for a test drive to the coffee shop on the corner, I just chucked it under my arm and went, no bag. That part of the design is certainly clever, but other parts feel a bit too clever. The hybrid hinge which folds a 13-inch screen into different modes is complicated, folding in the middle of the rear panel. The screen can swoop down in front of the keyboard, creating a kind of kiosk great for video playback, but it only hits one angle and not a particularly useful one at that unless you're looking down at it. It also forms a tablet and using the included stylus in that mode is very nice, especially with the leather outer shell in your hands. But that stylus has nowhere to go except a protruding leather loop. I always find those get in the way and they get snagged on things. If you're comparing this to the new MacBook Air, well, they both use dual core Intel Y series processors, which means they're not especially speedy, but still fine for everyday use. For these prices, the Folio starts at $100 more than the Air and goes up from there, well, you're not wrong to want something a little bit faster. Still, HP has done a great job of making big, bold statement pieces in the last few years, mostly from this high-end Spectre line, and the new Folio isn't perfect, but it certainly stands out.